some of the things we've been working on, and as you, you know, we're involved in creating adaptive yoga for people in wheelchairs. And Panisha and I are, you know, yoga teachers that we've never been in a wheelchair, so we don't know what that is like. But working with you ladies um, teaches us, and then we can we teach others. Yeah. That's, why, that's why we're here, so I really thank you for your time, because what we learn, we're going to spread out into this world, and you guys are inspirations, and thank you for being awesome yogi needs. Yeah, okay. how cool is that, huh? You're just gonna be sharing this and helping other people too while, while we're all learning together. I'd like to know a little bit about the health challenges that you have being in a wheelchair. One thing I, I heard was that osteoporosis is a big thing because you guys don't do a lot of weight bearing on your bones. After almost 30 years, yeah, I, I do have a significant amount of bone loss and um, you know, number one was uh, in order to, to, to try to counter this or slow this, uh, was to um, stretch, try to stand. You know, obviously it's hard to stand. As I just uh, met you recently, Sherry, I've learned a few exercises to um, to mimic standing, right? Mm -hmm. To put your feet out in front of you and uh, try to um, flex your feet. Uh, and um, so I found that that was just very, very important to learn. Uh, um, pressure sores is another thing that we hear about. What other areas of you know health issues that you have that maybe we wouldn't know about? Um, I think for me, I mean, I haven't had issues with those things, but um, for me, I notice um, it affects my circulation. So my feet and my hands get cold um, pretty easily. Mm. Um, so, and I know um, when I do stand, I notice that there is a big difference in that my feet are now getting <laughs> circulation. Do you do anything that's aerobic in terms of getting the heart and the lungs to kind of beat and pump? And Once in a while. Yeah, because um, that definitely helps yeah. the circulation, um, right? Yeah, I do some hand cycling, mm -hmm. but um, not as often as I would like either. We're going to give you a sequence that's going to warm you up okay. like that. Okay. okay. Up. Reach your arms all the way back up for a circle. Inhale up. And bring your hands together in prayer and bring it all. Okay. All right, so basically circulation is a big mm -hmm. thing. What about breathing? You know, um, it's funny because um, I have recently become more aware of my breathing. I, I sit all day during, <laughs> during work hours, and I spend a lot of time at a computer. And so I know when I'm, you know, at the computer, I, I'm not opening my chest very much. To, and so I, I do feel like... Um, that's something I can benefit from too. Um, so stretches so. feel so good. Yeah. Gosh, you girls. You just want to go where it just yeah, feels so good in your body. Uh, same posture. Um, swelling is definitely more prevalent for me. I'm going to open up the channel of energy. Everybody. That's why we're doing it. If there's any move, it doesn't matter, right? We're just going to open up. Yeah. What about the circulation, the cold in your hands and your feet? You, yeah. You have that as well too yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I told her today, I'm always asking my dog to lay on my feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and at this age, uh, after 28 years using a wheelchair, I just feel that um, uh, yoga is especially now important for me uh, because I just feel like I need to stretch more than ever, and uh, it makes me feel feel better. I think that's that's it.